What's up guys, Vivino back at it again with another video. So you want to be a streamer, right? Well, what if I told you that you only need to use one piece of software to set up a professional looking stream and it's completely free? Do you want to know what it is? This software is extremely easy to use and learn and it's called XSplit Gamecaster. If you want to learn how to use it, then this video is for you. Alright guys, so this is the main interface of XSplit Gamecaster, and let me tell you, it cannot be even more user friendly than this. This is the simplest way to get your stream looking very professional, and there's nothing going to get in the way between you and your game stream. Let me show you how I set this up really easily. So before I actually show you guys the theme library included in XSplit Gamecaster for completely free, I'm going to walk you through the interface of the main screen. So over here, you can select your scenes. You can add a new scene by clicking this button over here. Over here on the lower right, you can see main source. You can add any game or display capture over here. Then over here is the camera source and if you click on this you can select what active uh, webcam you're going to use for your scenes of course this also works with xsplit vcam which i have a video tutorial on if you want to check that out but i digress over here to the right you can see stream events and stream chat now this is currently set up for my facebook stream because i do stream on facebook gaming over here, you will see people liking your stream, sharing your stream, sending you stars. Any activity related to your stream will be shown right here. Over here, obviously, is stream chat and all the comments on your stream is going to pop out over here as soon as you start your stream. Over here, you can select a transition, which will work when switching scenes. So right now, I, I set it at no transition, but you can choose for example uh, fade to black and then it's gonna work every time you switch a scene like this and there are tons of different transitions as you can see so you can choose which one you like now it's extremely easy to create multiple themes or multiple scenes interfaces for different types of games that you play over here on the right you can see that I have a different theme set up here and it's really easy switching so now let's get over to settings before you actually create your own theme or select a theme from the theme library which i will show you in just a bit you have to go through settings first on the streaming tab you will see a drop down menu to set up your stream preferences and select your stream destination so de depending on whether you're streaming on youtube twitch facebook or mixer you can select it right here as far as i know you can only stream to four of these platforms so you can select uh, select custom because if you select automatic you can't change the quality settings of your stream but if you select custom there are in-depth settings to change the quality of your stream ingest server best leave it at automatic that selects the lowest latency server on which you're going to use to stream at resolution i set mine to 900 900 phd when you're a starting streamer and you're streaming from just a single PC setup, I recommend 720p HD. Codec, if you're using an NVIDIA GPU, this is highly recommended to free up processing power for your CPU. If you're not using an NVIDIA GPU, AMD Radeon has their own counterpart. But if you have a more powerful CPU, in which case I have a i9-9900K, I can use that if I wanted to because it gives you better quality but depending on the game that you're running if it's more intensive on the CPU side of things you might want to use the GPU frame rate I recommend 60 bit rate I recommend you set it to constant with a minimum of 6000 bit rate or 4000 bit rate when you're going for 720p or higher stream delay if you're streaming a tournament or something competitive you, know, you don't want people to stream snipe you you can add stream delay and of course record locally so you can record your video 
while you're streaming. Recording tab. Now this is only for screen recording. This is completely different from your streaming settings. So it has the same settings tab. So when you're recording a VOD, you can select the quality as well. Over here in the devices menu, you have to select system audio, which you leave at default speakers and your microphone, which you use to speak into your computer. I recommend not turning on microphone boost and remove background noise. Just leave it as is. If you have a condenser mic, just leave it as is. These are your key binds and hotkeys for the in-game HUD, which I will explain later. The cool thing about XSplit Gamecaster is that you don't really need a second monitor to check your comments or stream events over here. You don't need to Alt-Tab. All you have to do is enable in-game HUD and just hit Control tab when you're in game. And it's gonna show you the interface and you can click on the interface so you can switch scenes or check your comments or check your stream activity. Language, XSplit Gamecaster is available in many languages, even in Tagalog, of course, as XSplit is developed mainly by Filipinos. Proud Filipino right here, by the way. And of course, you can link your accounts to Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, and Mixer. You can also set up your own donation link built into the software over here, linked to your PayPal email address. So, now that's out of the way, let me show you one of the coolest things about XSplit Gamecaster, and I think this is one thing that sets it apart from a lot of other streaming softwares out there. Depending on what platform you're going for, whether it be YouTube Mixer, Twitch, or Facebook, you can select it right here. Right now it's set to Facebook Gaming, and you can browse different themes. As you can see, there are tons of different themes available for absolutely free and once you click on it let's say this fortnite theme party bus theme you can select which scenes you want to import so i'm going to add the studio and you see 12,000 people already downloaded this theme and it automatically creates a new tab on this pane over here as you can see it's that easy Choose the theme that you like, click import. There are tons of different themes you can use to, you can use these search specifications to narrow down your search, depending on which color you like, what genre you're playing, what format, animated and static. There are animated backgrounds available and there are static backgrounds as well. So let's go back to that studio and the, click on the theme we just downloaded. So the game over here, will be displayed, right? As you can see, it's right here, the theme we just downloaded, and it's fully customizable. Very, very easy to edit. Now let me show you the scene editor. Let's edit this one. So this is the scene editor. So when you click on edit scene, this is what shows up. Now as you can see over here on the left, it works pretty much similarly as any photo or video editing software, there are layers and you can adjust which layer has priority over the other by dragging it down, dragging it up. So I'm going to leave it as is for now. And it's very easy to hide or disable certain layers on your scene just by clicking this on and off button over here. So as you can see, I put the webcam screen over here and the game screen over here. I can put the XSplit watermark over here. Label bar, latest tip, recent tips, top tip, and social media, name feature, title bar, tip alert. So it shows you what your alerts look like, but it's obviously, it's only gonna show up when someone uh, sends you a tip, for example, over here. And when you click on different layers, there are certain different properties over here on the right that you can change, certain parameters that you can change. And of course, you can zoom in and out, make it smaller, make it bigger, zoom in. You can turn off grid snapping as well. So when you're, when you're moving an asset around the scene, it snaps to a grid. You can also turn that off, but it, I recommend turning on grid so you can see which assets are aligned and what aren't. And then clicking on the settings here, you can find a different color for your theme. You can select colors, turn off snapping here, and when you click on advanced mode, 
more parameters show up. It makes it more in depth, but not really complicated. I recommend using it so you can edit more, more of your assets. You can click on every asset and change every aspect of your scene. Potato PC mode, if you experience high CPU usage, I recommend you turn this on to remove animations and increase performance. Now when you're streaming, CPU processing power is paramount. So I recommend turning this on right here. And when you're ready to go live, you click on this button over here, or when you want to record your VOD, click on over here. Duration of your stream is going to show up over here. And that's about it. That's how easy Gamecaster is, and that's how powerful it is. You no longer have to buy premium themes online. You don't have to go through all the trouble of making your own theme. If you're a starting streamer, you just want a professional looking stream and you want to get on, start building your community. Highly recommend running through the theme library and choosing which one you like, and then just take a bit of time to customize it to fit your liking. And it cannot get easier than that, guys. XSplit Gamecaster is absolutely free, really powerful, and can get you a professional looking stream in a matter of minutes, in, a, in just a few clicks. So I really recommend starting streamers, aspiring streamers to check this out. Thank you guys for watching. This has been Viminal. I'll catch you next time.